Hello there, Schoology users. I know that I am super excited to show you what we're doing today, and that is to insert a Google Drawing into your announcement and make it take up the whole page. I figured it out kind of early in the morning, and I'm so excited by it because it makes my life so much easier. Please, please, please share this with people that you know so that they can use this as well because instead of having to go through the steps of redoing my buttons every time and copy and pasting them over every time I want to change something, now I just change the drawing. So this is really, really awesome and I hope you find it, find it that way too. So without further ado, this is what it looks like. Um, so this is actually a Google drawing. You can see that it is the entire section up here. And it says, don't know what to do, click here. Hey, every single thing here is clickable. I can go on everything, but wait a second. I didn't link unit seven. So let me show you how this works. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your Google Drive. You're gonna hit new, more, and add a Google drawing. Google Drawings are just like a PowerPoint slide or a Google slide. You just insert some pictures until you like it and then you're done. So as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of pictures and if I click on each one, you'll see the link that is attached to it, right? Well, I have Unit 1, it has a link, Unit 2 here has a link, but um, I didn't link Unit 7 here. So let me show you how to do that. All you're going to do on a Mac is hit Command K. That's going to pull up this item here. I'm going to go back to my Schoology course, scroll down to Unit 7, and I'm just going to grab this link from the top of the page. You'll notice there isn't any materials there yet. Doesn't matter. I can still post a link to it. Copy and paste it in, and bam, it's linked. Now wait, you might think, oh, now i got to go through and like post everything. Nope, watch this. All I have to do is go back to my main page, and once I am on that main page, I'm gonna be able to use this button already. So I'm back into my course here, and look, if I hit Unit 7, now, ta-da, it takes me there. So you're probably wondering, okay, I can copy and paste some pictures, I can, you know, add some links to this with Command K to do it. Well, now what am I gonna do? Now, I'm gonna show you how to put it at the top of your course like my announcement. All you're gonna do is I'm gonna remove this one to start. And you can see my course looks a lot less pretty now. And you're gonna go to Updates. In Updates, you're going to click on Add Resources right here. And in order to do this, you have to have the Google Drive app installed. If you go to Apps, you have Google Drive Resources. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to find my picture that I wanna use, which is this one right here. I'm gonna click Import, and oh, Import Embed isn't there. Troubleshooting time. All right, import embed isn't there. This has happened to me before. Here's how you fix it. You go to your materials. You add an assignment. And let's say you add whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna click insert content, Google Drive resource app. Do the same thing we were doing before. Pick your item that you were gonna import embed. There it is, import. There's import embed, click it. It's gonna embed it for you. And now magically the button will be back. Don't ask me why it happens, I don't know. So, let's do this for real now. Updates. Click the button for resources. Apps. Google Drive, shared with me, well in my case it's shared with me because I made it another account. My little classroom here, import, there's import embed, click it. Now, stop, because typically you would just hit post, 
that if you just hit post, one, it's not going to be at the top of your page, and two, it's going to be itty bitty. We don't want that. We want it to take up the whole glorious space there. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I always forget to, is I'm going to hit this little plus and I'm going to check the bell. That's going to make an announcement at the top of the page. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, not click on it because that will take me places. I'm going to right click and hit inspect element. Now I am in Firefox. People have told me that it is important that you're in Firefox. I do not know. All I know is it works in Firefox. I'm going to go here to search HTML in my inspector and I'm going to type iframe. And you'll see there's 14 things that say iframe. I'm just going to hit enter until I find one that says Google Docs next to it right here. Do you see this iframe source Google Doc drawings? Down here in this code you'll see it says 500 for the height and 900 for the width. All I'm going to do is double tap and I'm going to change my height and width. So, well, I actually want why mine is 900 by 500. Okay, so that one was already set. So I'm betting that wasn't the one I was looking for because I probably had another one on this page. So I'm just going to hit enter again. All right, here's another one. This one has a width of 1000, a height of 600. Okay, keep going. That one does not say Google Docs. That is definitely not a Google Doc. Not a Google Doc. Oh, here's a Google Doc one. All right. It says width 560 by height 315. This is actually the image that is currently inside my update. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this code to 900 by 500. And that's kind of like the size I like. Um, it takes up like the whole screen and it's like yay big, but you can make this whatever you want and play around with it. Anytime you update that Bitmoji, it's going to work. So after I do that, just hit enter to make sure that everything's set up. And the important part is do not hit refresh. Do not hit anything extra at this point. You're going to immediately click host. I'm going to exit out of my inspector here. And you can now see that my announcement is on that page. It works. Every single link that I had is there. I have seven units. I got my Clever login, my contact info. And just to prove to you that I'm not kidding, that it changes as soon as I add something, let's put in a little smiley face here over top of this whole page because we're thrilled that we figured this out. I know I was. <laughs> All right, so here's my little smiley face. Now watch. I'm going to go back to my course. I'm going to hit refresh. Oh, it's not there yet. It's got to sync first. My Wi-Fi isn't always the fastest. Boom! There's my giant smiley face that I just put on there. So when I choose to change my board here, I don't have to do anything. It's going to automatically update. I only have to touch this Google Drawing for the rest of the school year. I never have to go back and do anything to this post here. Let's just refresh so that my big smiley face goes away and you can see everything. And you can see how I have my course set up. Now, some people had asked, what does this don't know what to do go on here? And here I have my plan book. I like planbook.com. I have embedded my actual um, planning for my students so that they can see it. It takes a second to load, and there's going to be a student message that pops up in each. And so they can see what's going on, and then it's going to show that week's announcement so they can see what they were supposed to do each day. So I really hope you enjoyed this. And I hope this is helpful. And if you have questions, let me know. Remember, share this with people. This is a revolutionary thing for elementary. You can have one course where all your materials are, are stored, but you can actually have it still go to different grade books. So if your district sets you up with six different classes, you can put it all in one place so your parents don't have to look everywhere and still keep those grade books separate. 
I really hope this helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Give it a thumbs up, like and follow. Love you all. Bye-bye.